Okay, y'all. So, um, after the big, after the big, uh, twist out fail, we're going to try this again. Anyways, what's up, y'all? I have Originals Africa's Best Olive Oil Twist and Lock Gel, and it looks like this. Can y'all see that? It looks like this. So, I didn't know what twist and lock gel to buy. Usually, back in Florida, when I used to do hair, I used to use uh, another one, and it was by ORS. But, it was it was a little bit, um, this one was a cheaper one, and I didn't see the ORS one. And, I'm going to try this one on me. Yeah, it's so different doing my hair versus doing somebody else's hair, especially my hair now. I got this new thing going on. I don't know, girl. I got to get used to it, okay? So, I already got my hair sectioned off, as y'all can see. Got it all the way sectioned off in my sections. And, this thing says, hold on, let me see. This thing says, um, directions for the use is uh, where is it? Twist hair with comb or fingers for best results. Oh, wait. Hold on. This, okay, you're supposed to wash it, whatever, whatever. We know my hair ain't washed. My hair still got this, um, Elastic QP mango butter stuff in it that wasn't quite good enough for me for my twist. Um, so this twist and lock gel, hopefully, it's gonna work. It says, um, Section hair and apply twist and lock gel, which is this. Twist hair with comb or fingers. And for best results, set twist under a warm dryer. So I didn't want to I didn't want to sit under the dryer the last time. So I think I'm gonna sit on the warm dryer this time. We're gonna see if that making it difference. I, I I know it's gonna make a difference, but you know, I just was trying to keep heat off my hair. But indirect heat ain't you know ain't bad. I don't I do Listen, too much to say. To touch up twist or loss, add a new, at the new growth section hair and apply a small amount of gel, retwist or palm roll touch with. Okay, we ain't doing no dread. So, anyways, y'all, I am going to apply this to my hair. Like I say, one little section at a time, y'all. And. I'm trying my best to get used to my hair, y'all. Because y'all know I'm not, like, used to my hair. Since I did the cut, I was, you know, hanging on to those ends for so long. I don't know. Okay, apply this to the root. Put it on in the root. Here and over there. So, hopefully. I don't want to put too much. But I want to put enough, you know. So, let me try this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went and got the bow pins. Like I said, I got the bow pins for um, the hair stove. These little bow pins I told y'all about in the last video. Y'all need to keep up if y'all missing out now. I, I, um, these are the only thing that's going to hold my ends. Because, like, like I told y'all, these rollers right here failed. They came out causing my hair to unravel and all of that stuff. So, I had to do the next best thing, honey. I'm going to look like a little girl when I get through, but it's all good. I'm um, going to section my hair off. Man, it look like I could do that th this whole twist. So, this time, I'm not going to... Um, what you call it? I'm not going to braid. I'm not going to start off with braids. Since I'm actually using lock gel, um, I think it's going to hold better. So, I'm just going to twist it and see what happens. We're going to twist all of this down and then at the end of it we're going to add a, um, a bow pin or a barrette as you guys may call them and see what it do. We're going to sit under the dryer like it said and everything. I think it's going to come out really nice because I've always used this method back in the days, in the days, in the days um, when I was in Florida doing hair on dreads um dreads is my specialty if you guys don't know that honey doing the retwist with the dreadlocks that's my that was my specialty um well that was one of them uh oh man let me see if i can get this this bow pin on now now get on on now okay so you know it untwisted a little bit but that ain't nothing and i'm gonna keep doing this and that that's okay y'all see that that's that's all right it ain't the best, but it's good enough. Let me get this brush. Brush through this section real quick. Because I want to make sure. Uh-oh, I pulled a piece out of the. I want to make sure. I'm looking in the mirror over here, y'all. See? I want to make sure that it is twisted. As good as I could twist it. 
without my hands starting to hurt y'all because y'all know if I do too much with my hands my hands will start to feel the pain from the neuropathy so I'm doing as good as I could do without trying to without accidentally like hurt myself <laughs> Okay, so just twist that. Gotta get my bowls out now. Gotta get my little baby burrits. Burrits. We always call these things bow pins, y'all. Okay, so got them clipped in there. So I ain't doing nothing but twisting my hair like a little kid, y'all. And oh, it ain't that tight at the root right there. I don't know. <sighs> we gonna see, y'all. <laughs> Let me do two more and see how that's going to work. Um, I don't know, y'all. I'm feeling some type of way. <laughs> I'm feeling some type of way. So, oh my God. Get right up in here so it all can twist up good. And then, I'm going to keep twisting this, y'all. And I will be back. Let me brush this through. Brush this through one time. I don't want to take the brush through my hair too many times. I'm going to see if I can twist it tighter. See if that will work. Making a difference. Yeah, this one This one is a little bit tighter than this one. This one just loose. I'm going to go and take this one out right now. Because it's just loose, loose. Like, it's loose, loose, loose. Loose, loose, loose. Okay, so I'm going to grip it tighter at the root. My hands already starting to hurt, y'all. I hate this, man. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God I'm alive, Jesus. Okay, I'm, um, continue twisting my hair. And then, when I get the whole head twisted, I will be back. Hopefully, that little twist will stay a little bit tighter. Now, okay, y'all. Y'all see these little twists? I'm going to do them all over my hair. And when I get done, we're going to, um, come back. I'll let you guys see the results, okay? Okay, you guys. I am finally finished my hair. So this is what it twists. I actually put... I went heavy-handed on the product more. So this side... um, A little wetter over here than this side is. I don't know what that's going to do. But I'm going to turn around in the back and show you guys what it look like. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> What's about to happen? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go sit under the dryer. Let me show y'all a close up. And I didn't put nothing on my edges. That's um I mean I did put something on my edges, but I didn't put no edge control. I just used this stuff right here that I've twisted my hair with, and then I just brushed my edges a little bit with my with my edge brush and now that's probably going to unravel when I get under the dryer. I don't know. But um, we're going to see, child. I'm going to go sit under the dryer. And then I need to curl this piece. I'm trying not to have, I'm trying to have this little this little tiny piece at the end with a curl so it won't be straight. At least a bend in it or something so I can have, so it won't be sh like stick straight, straight at the end. And um, we're going to see, y'all. So y'all stay tuned because I'm not going to show y'all in this video because this is going to be a whole new video this one right here looking a little uh i don't know i'm gonna try i have to retwist that piece because i already retwisted it a few minutes ago and it's still looking like i got like an extra piece of hair in there or something child so i'm gonna twist twist i think because this small and this big that's why child. let's see if i can pinch a piece off yeah pinch a piece off and see what that do Probably done messed it up. I don't know. But I am going to sit under the dryer for a while. And then I'm going to leave my hair like this. And, you know, let it air dry the rest of the way. Because my hair is wet. It's like wet, wet. This 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 stuff right here is... It say gel, but this ain't like gel. Like gel, gel. It got a tag... No, it, it just got a smooth feel to it. Like it's some, um, woof, some creamy shea butter type girl. I can't explain it, but, you know, it don't feel like gel. It feel like a cold cream that you would put on your face. That's what it feel like. 
so I got this one twisted back up hopefully it'll stay that way and some of these twists loose some of them a little tighter than the rest they just untwisted themselves so hopefully we'll get a good twist out or an okay twist out I don't know girl y'all ride with me now so y'all stay tuned to the next video after this is complete that'll probably be tomorrow um we'll see if not I will keep y'all updated on you know how this dried and all of that stuff anyways you guys thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned to part two of this video yeah y'all we trying it again if at first you don't succeed try try again okay y'all anyways you guys thanks so much for watching and I will holler at y'all later bye